I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Ruel. Peace and salutations to the elect, and much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four winds of the earth. And shalom to you, few sisters out there, you few sincere sisters out there. It's Brother Ariyah coming at you with another lesson. And um, yeah, man, this video just shows, you know how a lot of women are, don't hold themselves accountable for what they do. Now, this particular woman here got caught shoplifting and acting like she ain't do nothing wrong. And she shouldn't be, <clears throat> you know, apprehended, right, by the, by the police because of it, you know? Zero accountability once again, man, you know? And this is like one of the worst um, characteristics uh, to have, man especially as a woman or anyone, period, man. It's one of the worst characteristics to have, man, is, is to not hold yourself uh, uh, accountable for your own actions. I'm going to get into it. This is seven, it's seven, you know, this is 25 minutes, but I just wanted to play seven minutes of it, but I will probably just skip so it's not that long so you can see, you know, the end of her bullshit, man. She's talking shit, being disrespectful, knowing damn well she was wrong, man. Let me just get into it. Excuse me, ma'am. Come back inside the store for me. Bring your card. Bring, you. bring your card. Come back inside the store. I don't want to embarrass you in the parking lot. You're bring, not going to embarrass me. Bring your card. Come back inside the store, please. Okay. That's Thank you. Bring your card inside the store, please. I'm coming inside the store. For now. I am coming out. Because I don't know what you're looking for. What are you looking for? Let me go back to this door right here. Ma'am, push the car inside the See, store. I'll put my car inside the store before I snap. Oh, wow. All right, go ahead and put your card up over here for me. Okay, so what did y'all talking about? What, okay. what is it? Because it's two trains. Do you have an ID on you? No, no, no. But I okay, can tell you my Okay, so, so let's stop right now, okay? I'm stopping you for shoplifting. If you want to leave out of here, you're going to change stop, your attitude. Stop, stop, I stop, stop. If you want to leave out of here, you're going to change your attitude. Okay. If not, I'll just take you to the county because I really don't care. I don't go to jail. You don't? Because you well, can't I'm today. You see, he's giving her a chance, you know. He's giving her a chance to leave. And normally, you know, for the most part, that don't happen. Sometimes it'll happen. And in this case, it could have happened. But you see her attitude already. She's mad because she got caught. I, I don't go to jail. I don't have a record. But what I'm trying right, to but what I'm telling you is, is today what you can I make your way to the county. What did I make? Number what one is this purse with? and also the clothes in this cart that you bagged up at the register. So I let's scam. let's let's I, change I, the I tone. Scam. Okay. Let me tell y'all something. I scammed my motherfucking family, and there's an employee here that motherfucking family. If you said I stopped lifting my fucking panties. They're $3. Oh my I, don't, I, I don't set up there a fucking spot all the day. That's why exactly I don't come here. I don't, do not come to this Walmart because y'all be on bullshit. If that's the case, you could have easily said... Okay, first of all, stop. Stop all that. Back, back, away, nice back away from the card, ma'am. Back away from the card. I'm backing okay? away. Give me your Where's receipt. Where's your receipt at? My receipt is right here. Okay, give me your receipt. Because I have two transactions. Okay, excellent. There's that, Miss Daisy. Okay. <clears throat> this purse does not belong to you. This purse belongs to the store. I watched you take this off the shelf and turn the tags off. These do not belong to you. This does not belong to you. I watched you put this inside the purse. Please I'm don't not, grab any of the I'm stolen merchandise. Anything but Please my, but don't my grab wallet. anything out of the purse, okay? okay? Go ahead. You got that? Thank you. I can go into my wallet. No, you cannot. Not what right now. Mean? Because I've stopped you for a lawful reason. No, you cannot go into your wallet. I don't know what's inside your wallet. Please step over here, okay? Okay, that's it. Miss Daisy, yes, I'm going to yes, walk sir. her down to the can office you and then we'll can come. You, can, you, can you just tell her to put, walk my, this way can me, put my money back on my card? Ma'am, hold this way. Can you walk put this my, way for me, please? Can you put my money back on my walk card? This way. My You'll reply. get this in a second. Walk this way. I, I would tell y'all. All this is stand here. Let's walk this way. I don't want it. Ma'am, leave everything in the car and walk this way. I paid $300 for all my stuff. Walk this way. Please don't be aggressive. Walk this way. Please don't be aggressive. Pay attention to what I'm telling you then. I am paying attention to what you're Please walk this way. That's frustrating. What you saw, what you watched. Okay, you got what you wanted. Let it go. 
Because everything else I paid for. <laughs> but I thought you ain't still nothing. That's never, never. Been called? Excellent. No, not been called. You're being called Yes, I am. And, and Glad you picked up called. on it. Step inside. You know, have a seat over here on this bench. I'm... Step inside, have a seat on the bench. Step inside, have a seat on the bench. I'm only going to tell you one more time. Step inside, have a seat on the bench. I'm going to step inside, and you're going to let me out. I'm going to step inside. She got what she wanted. That's the case. Here go my food stamp card. Give me back all my money on them. And I will leave. I will simply leave. I will ship from Walmart. I'll go to Walmart on 441. Period. I'm not writing down. I'm not giving out my name. Have a seat. Have a seat. No, you're going to have a seat. Okay, you can keep that. I'll, I'll get something on you. Because what I want to do, me. don't bump me, ma'am, because I didn't I do nothing. I didn't do nothing. To stop and have a seat. Okay, I am going to have a seat. Why are you being aggressive? Stop, I'm going to take you to the ground. Stop, I'm going to take you to the ground. Sir, first of all, sir, I'm going to take you to the ground. I'm telling you right now, if you do not stop tensing up. She just say she he breaking her pinky that's already broken. <laughs> hey, yo. I'm going to take you to the ground. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> no. Now you're going to get put in cuffs. For what? Stop tensing up. I'm going to take you to the ground. <clears throat> Turn around. Turn around. This is some bullshit. Zero accountability. You do not have to put me in cuffs. I will comply and go sit my Turn hands back down. around. Now. Can't follow orders. And bump me again like Stay that. running their mouth. And I'm, I'm trying to get... And this is what you get. I told you to stop. What the fuck is you doing that, fella? You sitting up here. No, you're not. Yeah. You're not. You're not. That's what you get. You're not going to sit up here. Put me on my fucking face and I'm a fucking woman. You break something. On the ground now. 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 Oh my God. On the ground now. Call my motherfucking lawyer. Call my dad. This is Proverbs 16 and 18 through 20. It says, Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. And better is it to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. And he that handleth a matter wisely shall find good, and whoso trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. You know, and she didn't handle that. Of course, you know, women, most women don't have wisdom, man. Okay? <clears throat> For the most part. And, um, yeah, she got what she deserved, man. You know, a lot of these women do not hold themselves accountable, man. A lot of men, too. You know, a lot of men do the same shit, too, man. Because they raised by these very women. Right? So, you know, she... I don't know, man. Just being combative like that, she got what the fuck she deserved, man. And I ain't watched the whole video, so I don't know. Something could have got broken or whatever. I don't know. You know? But that's what you get when you act like that, man. If you get caught doing wrong, which you shouldn't be out there stealing anyway, you know? You get caught, you know, and the man saying, you know, I'll let you go. Then what's the use of being all mouthy and, and being disrespectful? This is that feminist uh, bullshit, man. Women acting like men. That shit is such a, a turnoff, man. You know? Where the hell did the femininity go, man? Where did it go? You know, especially amongst uh, Judite women, man, or Yahawadite women. It's non-existent, man. All of them are trying to be like, like men. And this is why the apostles say that, you know, you you uh you Judite women are, are the lowest on the totem pole, man. Pretty much undateable, man. No one wants you. Okay? Because of your attitude and the wicked spirit that lies within you, man. That was a turnoff, man. And she got exactly what she deserved, man. I was smiling the whole time. I was actually waiting for it to happen. Because she just kept running her mouth. You know, she just kept running her mouth. Don't know how to be quiet. Let me get a uh, Sirach 20, 24 through 26. And it says a lie 
is a foul blot in a man, yet it is continually in the mouth of the untaught. It says a thief is better than a man that is accustomed to lie. Okay, and she was both. She was a thief and a liar. Okay, she acted like she did nothing wrong, like she didn't steal nothing. Look, I got my receipts. The whole time the man saw what you did on, on the camera. You know, people think they slick, man. And that's becoming a, a recurring thing where, where Jake will go out and, and steal, man. You know, like in packs. You know, they're doing that more and more now, running up in stores and, and you know, stealing whatever they can, right? But not knowing that these things that you grabbing, they ain't going to be able to feed you, man. They're not going to be able to feed you. You know, shit is, shit is about to change out here, man. You're not going to be able to eat, you know, those clothes or, you know, jewelry or whatever it is that you going in there and stealing. Just like this lady, she's not going to be able to eat that, that pocketbook in them drawers that she stole from the store, man. A lot of these jakes that's running up in these stores and stealing, I guarantee you the Heavenly Father is going to have them die by starvation, man. You know? It's a lock here. Yeah, so she's not going to be able to eat that pocketbook, man. A lot of these jakes are definitely going to die by starvation, man, because of their actions and ways, man. You know? It says a thief is better than a man that is accustomed to lie, but they both shall have destruction and heritage. The disposition of a liar is dishonorable, and his or her name, or his or his or her shame, is ever with them, man, eh? or ever with him, right? <laughs> Let me get one more, man. I didn't want to make this long. It's Proverbs, uh. Proverbs 6 and, uh, let's get 30, 30 and 31. And it says, men do not despise a thief if he's still to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. Right? These jakes ain't out here trying to steal to satisfy their souls because they're hungry. They're stealing because they want to satisfy their soul with these, uh, <clears throat> you know, these, 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 these carnal things, man, that they're stealing. You know, Gucci bags and Fendi you know, all this bullshit that's, you know, it's not sustenance at the end of the day, man. But this is what Jake is out here stealing. They're ransacking stores. You know, they're being a terror unto Egypt, man, pursuing to uh, Isaiah the 19th chapter. They're, they're basically being a terror unto Egypt right now, man. Okay? But their end is not going to be uh, well with them, man. Okay? A lot of them going to be destroyed because of their actions and ways. But if he... But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. Okay, but they're not going to have to pay with all the substance of their house. They're going to have to pay with their life, man. You know? And a lot of these jakes out here are not considering, you know, their ways or what they're doing out here, man. They're thinking just because nothing is happen happening uh, immediately to them that nothing is going to happen. And this is why... The same things continue to happen over and over again with them as far as them stealing, just being a nigga, man. You know? But soon they're gonna be dealt with, man. They're gonna they're gonna be humble, man. A lot of these women and men are gonna be humble out here, man, for their ways and actions and the things that they've been doing, the wickedness that they continuously do. They're gonna have to pay. Okay? They definitely gonna have to pay, man. You know? And once again, I'm glad that, you know, he roughed her up like that because she deserved it. He can sit, He constantly asked her to sit down. She kept getting up, trying to find a way out that room so she can get up out of there because she knew that her mouth had got her in trouble and she was not going to leave out of there except in handcuffs. OK, so kudos to that man for showing her who the man is, that she needs to show respect. And that was humbling for her. I guarantee you it was humbling for her because she didn't think that was going to happen when she first stepped uh, foot in that room, man. So that's what the fuck she get, you know? Straight up and down. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to say shalom to the next one.